white rim example. Right, um, what we have here is um, a situation where um, first, first off, you may not know where your um, files are going to when you import them because you've never checked that out, you've never set the destination, you've just used the Windows, I mean Lightroom default location. Easiest way to find out is you hover over when you look at your, on the left hand side, you look at your list of folders in Lightroom, right at the top you'll see, say, your rear root folder, and above that will be the, the drive it's on. In my case, it's A, um, and then underneath that is the folder that everything goes into, and it go, everything goes into subfolders. So if you hover over it, you will see the path visible. Um, the other way you can do it if you've never changed your import destination is when you hit the import button but don't change anything you will see the last time I imported was into this folder here under this sub this root folder which was in this drive. So that tells you like most people this would probably be C drive, this would probably be uh, users, username, Lightroom or Adobe Lightroom, something like that. So that tells you where it is. Now, the pretend situation we've got here is using Lightroom for years. Um, you've been using the default location, which you have no idea where, where that is, or you might know where it is, but that's irrelevant. Um, you've got a bunch of folders already in the Lightroom catalog and you've installed an external hard drive. You want to put all those files, those photos, etc., that are in your Lightroom catalog onto this new external hard drive. Now, if you do that external to Lightroom, you will lose any edits, generally, um, if you're shooting raw or whatever, you'll lose the, the adjustments you've made to images in most cases. If you do it internally, Lightroom just copies everything across and moves everything across. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to create a folder in your new hard drive. In my case, it's called New Lightroom Folder. For argument's sake, we're going to pretend that this pretend Lightroom folder is my original um, Lightroom folder. And we're wanting to create our new location, new import location on this external hard drive here. Right now, keep in mind that back here we've created this on that hard drive, but so sitting on the hard drive and it's supposed to be empty. It's empty, right? So, in Lightroom, what do we do? We hit the plus symbol here, go add folder, go and find that folder, which I know is that's not what the hell was it? Oh, here we go. New Lightroom folder. Select folder. Now puts it down here on my new hard, on my external hard drive. Just pretend these other two aren't here. And that's the new folder. Here's the old one that was the default that Lightroom created when you set Lightroom up. The easiest way we don't want the new folder necessarily, but what we do want is this folder here. 
that's the one that's got all our images in it. So easiest way is to drag down to our new folder down here. Let go. And it will import everything into there. Well, actually, technically, it doesn't actually it imports them into Lightroom, but it physically moves the folder from here to here. And this is, it will be obvious because it will disappear from here. This will become grayed out as there's nothing inside it. And we go it's refreshed notice grayed out folder Select that new folder and if i open this up and that's copied across any alterations it's just rewritten lightroom's little filing system but the cool thing is it has physically moved those files and folders on your hard drive from what was probably C drive to your new external drive all in one hit. Now if you've got a lot of photos that's going to take a very long time. In essence that's the easiest way to do it. 